What's up, insiders? Deuces Jack at VapingInsider.com. We're going to take a walk through the beautiful Mohegan Sun. We're at NVE, and I'm going to show you the top 10 juices of the expo. I'm with Brock over here. We're going to go over a brand new juice that I tried. It's fantastic. It's blueberry and apricot. Brock, you want to take it away and tell us a little bit? Absolutely. So my name is Brock, Dreamery E-Liquid. We're a company based out of Boone, North Carolina. We've been doing our thing since about uh, January of 2014. Siren, this is a very special flavor to me. There's not many apricots on the market, and most of the time when you find them, they're desserty. So we really wanted to make a fruity, sweet, and just all-day vape apricot. Right. So we took those ripe blueberries that you find down south growing on the bushes, found some nice juicy and fresh apricot right. and mixed them together and that became siren nice. this flavor is sweet it's fruity it's an all-day vape it's gonna hit your candy lovers it's gonna hit your fruit lovers you know and we really tried to focus on adult packaging as well to go with our delicious flavor shop owners love it consumers love it you know when people come into my shop back home and say they want to try something different I let them try that one and I can't keep it on my shelf um, Really, if you're looking for something different, I think that Siren is going to be one that you should pick up. It's delicious. You'll enjoy it. And if you don't like it, write me and tell me you didn't and why. But you're going to love it. I don't have to worry about it. Thanks, guys. Rock, let me tell you something. I love apricot. It's like you said, you can't find a good apricot vape. Nobody really makes one, okay? Um, blueberries, any type of berry is my type of jam. This is so subtle and nice and so well blended. It's definitely one of my favorite juices of the show. And I got to commend you guys. You did a great job with it, man. Thanks, man. We're at the Jam Monster booth going over their new flavors. You want to tell us a little bit about their new flavors? Sure, Jax. So the new hottest flavors from Jam Monsters are peanut butter and jam line. The original was the grape, and we came out with the strawberry. Check it out, man. I like, I like the grape, man. I like the grape. You know, it's a 50-50 this show, but I will say just because the strawberry is new, we sold out in the first couple hours of the three nicks, so sorry tomorrow if you guys are looking for it. We can give you a zero and a six, and you can make it 200 mil. Awesome, man. Awesome. I'll tell you what, guys. I tried them both, okay? And you guys know I'm a kind of a berry guy, right? But I, I, I wasn't... The strawberry was okay, but the grape tasted like a straight-up peanut butter and jelly sandwich with no crust like your mom used to make when you were a kid. That's how I felt about it. Am I right? Uh, it's an Uncrustable in a, in a, in a canister. Is that, what, is that what we're calling it? An Uncrustable? Okay, fair enough. I got Cameron with me from Innovate, and Cameron was telling me about this Heisenberg liquid, and I've heard about this for years but I never got to try it and Cameron actually let me try it. Cameron you want to tell us a little bit about the flavor profile? Absolutely. So Heisenberg is a blue raspberry slushy. I got it available in the original or the menthol blend. It's really good stuff. The menthol gives you a good strong menthol vape but allows the fruit flavor to actually cut through and be heard. Now the original kicked off our company just good blue raspberry wholesome fruit flavor you cannot go wrong with it man fantastic stuff now what's with the blue color is that actually in the liquid or is that the color of the bottle so it is actually in the liquid it's a, a nod to if you ever watched breaking bad um heisenberg he made the blue stuff that's kind of where the uh, the owner got the idea from it's pretty funny as far as the actual ingredients we only use pharmaceutical grade ingredients and in fact there's only about on average 10 to 12 ingredients in our liquid it's very clean and we take it very seriously it is a tiny amount of pharmaceutical grade food coloring, but it's about three drops in a 50 gallon vat of the stuff. It retains the color because the ingredients are so clean and there's so few of them, it doesn't mute it out. Very interesting, I'll tell you what, he's not lying man, because I've been standing here dripping on this thing and it, my cotton's white. When I, when I dry out my cotton on my wasp nano, it's white, so he's not lying. I mean, this thing is a real clean taste and juice definitely one of the best juices of the show and I'm really glad I got a chance to try it. I'm at the booth at Moon Mountain Distribution and I got Houston here and you guys know I'm kind of a berry freak and he's got a juice that's strawberry, blueberry, right, and raspberry. Yeah. What is it? Tell me. Blueberry, blackberry, raspberry. Blueberry, blackberry, raspberry. It is absolutely phenomenal. You want to tell us a little bit about the history of this juice, Houston? Uh, well, it was developed uh, six years ago almost, and it's been a top seller since then. 
in the stores and our stores and now in the distro and the wholesale world. Uh, we also, it moves in China. It moves top seller in our China brand as well. I got Andy here, and we're going to be going over the VCT, one of my all-time favorite juices. That's it. Andy, you want to tell us a little bit about this juice? Uh, it's, a, it's one of our OG flavors. It's, uh, it was a product developed by Eric and Dave, and they came out with a product, uh, vanilla custard tobacco. And with that tobacco flavoring, it's, it's, it's a unique flavor of tobacco. It's not a heavy tobacco. A lot of people, when they hear about it, they get a little hesitant. But the second they vape it, like you said, it's become one of your favorite all day, all day, all day vape easy. So really just a unique package as well with the way it looks, the way it's presented. Uh, it just carries itself. So outside of that, it's just an awesome everyday flavor that you're going to enjoy day in and day out. I got my man John here. We're at the Apollo booth. Now they already make one of my favorite, all-time favorite Nick Salts that he told me they're rebranding. It's Havana Nights, but it's a fantastic juice. But I was here earlier and I tried there. Which one did I try, John? The raspberry what? Yeah, the raspberry cheesecake by dessert right here. Phenomenal, phenomenal juice. You want to give us a little bit of a flavor profile, John? Tell us what it's all about. Yeah, man, we're all really big uh, cheesecake lovers over here at Apollo. So when it came down to the raspberry cheesecake, we had to make sure this was perfect. You know what I mean? Right. So we got a really nice and creamy raspberry cheesecake. Uh, kind of started off the New York cheesecake. Right, right. You know, the raspberry isn't too strong. It's perfectly sweet. It's just an all-around good vape. If you guys can't tell from my wonderful accent, I know exactly what a New York cheesecake should taste like. And let me tell you something, man. This one is Stella. I got Andrew here. He's the heavy metal vapor. And we're gonna talk about his vanilla custard. Andrew, take it away. All right, so uh, basically what we got is, last year, and uh, we, the, this NVE was at Foxwoods, right? right? So we entered the uh, vanilla cupcake from Pillar of Clouds, custard man, Mr. David Barton. That's, uh, that's the man behind right the fucking- Right that's the genius? Yeah, that's the, that's the <laughs> wizard of Oz right there, right? He's the one that makes all the magic happen. But uh, yeah, we put it in. It came uh, came out best dessert, right? No so kidding. yeah, that's why we're that's why we're toting this guy right here. Look Boom. at that! Check that. Got some hardware right. there. But, yeah, it's always good to have a uh, a trophy winner in the booth, right? So it's uh, the blend on this is like the, the cupcake stands out, the custard stands out, but nothing's overpowering. They're really well balanced. Uh, it's a really good American style custard, so it's more cream than it is egg, and it doesn't really have that, that throat bite like a lot of custards have. Uh, that's mostly because of the cream, you know, and the beautiful thing about all these line, the, all of these uh, flavors in this line, they're all sub on salt, so they're really smooth, even at, even at higher nicotine strengths. All of these also come in a 25 and a 50, so yeah, so you pod, yeah, pod devices like it's it's spot on for that. Um, but these are these are some of those one of those rare brands that like everything kind of falls together. The liquid's really smooth; it doesn't kill your coils. There's no added sweetener, so it, it's it's all flavor, no savor, man. I gotta tell you guys, I tried it, and it's it's probably the most well balanced cupcake I ever had, okay? And and you do get a little bit of the frosting at the end, right? Yeah. Am I right? Yeah, just a little bit. Just, just a little bit. Just a little hint. Not, not Like I said, nothing in there is overpowering, right? right? And that's the beauty of it. You've got the cake, you've got the cream, you've got the custard, you've got the vanilla, and it's, a, you know, it's, it's one of my favorite liquids. Like, yeah, my, I'll tell you what, I was very impressed when I tried it. I never had it before today. I got Doc right here from Immortal Elixir, but we can't find Sleepy and Sneezy, all right? But we're gonna talk about his flagship juice, Churro. Doc, you wanna take it away and tell us about the flavor profile and how this flavor came about? Yeah, so I prefer fruity flavors, and uh, I wanted, I didn't do much dessert flavors, and so uh, I just created something that I liked that was more of a savory flavor. Um, it is, very light on the cinnamon, kind of like a cinnamon glaze. I felt like a lot of the churros had just a little, the cinnamon was overpowering. And uh, it doesn't have any custard in it, so it's not a very, uh, like a lot of the desserts I've had that are vaped have uh, a lot of custard. And this doesn't have any custard, which I think makes it taste more like an authentic food. Well, I got to be honest with you, Doc. I just vaped it, and I didn't taste 
hardly any cinnamon in it at all. That's true. Like I said, it's just a light cinnamon glaze because cinnamon is such a powerful flavor. It doesn't take much to turn it into something you don't want to vape all the time. So it does, but I did make, I promise it does have some cinnamon in it, but it's just a hint of cinnamon. We focus more on the powdered sugar and the dough. You notice it has more kind of like a full body flavor to it. So I agree with that. It's got a doughy flavor to right. it. That's Absolutely. for sure. Absolutely. And let me tell you something, man. You, if you guys don't know from my New York accent, I'm from New York. They sell those churros all over the place, man. You can get them in the subway. You can get them on the street. Yep, yep. So I know what a churro, what a proper churro tastes like. Right. And this thing is spot on. I got Bruce here today from Dream Drip. And we're going to talk about his blueberry lemon cereal vape. It's one of the best vapes at NVE. Bruce, tell us what it's all about. Yeah, we got the blueberry lemon cereal here. This is a great uh, blueberry and lemon combined to make a beautiful cereal with the milky scoop. Excellent. Really? Yeah. Now, is there really a special, that's a real special K-Box, right? That's what it really tastes like? Yes, it is. That's yeah. exactly it. Because yeah. I recognize the, the red berry one because I eat that one all the time, but I never saw that one. And when I saw the bottle for the vape, I had to try it. It's phenomenal, man. You did a great job with the lemon. Thank you very much. Yes, and the, and the special K with the strawberry. Everybody loves that. Do they come over? Does it taste like the cereal box? I said, yes, it does. And when they vape it, they buy it. Let me tell you something, man. That's a spot on taste because the lemon, the lemon is not pledgy, right? Is that a word? Pledgy. You ever have lemon vapes and they kind of taste like pledge, right? This one doesn't have it. It's, it's not scratchy like a lemonade. It's just nice, smooth mellow lemon am i right absolutely spot on buddy now how long did it take you to develop a flavor like this well we tested these in our in our retail in new jersey for months and months and months and these were the top five flavors out of hundreds of them oh, so now you now you just killed it for me it. bruce now you're from new jersey really yeah that's yep, okay that's, the truth, that's okay right? they're people too all right that's okay appreciate that <laughs> yeah we appreciate the support man I'm with my man Curtis here from Halcyon. Did I say that right? Halcyon, yes, sir. Or did I butcher it with my Brooklyn accent? <laughs> no, Halcyon. Yeah, Hal you said it right. All right. Now, I was walking by here, right, and Curtis here started his corporate spiel with me. <laughs> and I said, Curtis, don't give me the sizzle, babe. Give me the steak. And I grabbed one of these juices, and I tried it. Which is the juice I tried, Curtis? You, you tried Apache uh, in three milligrams. And let me tell you something, I, what caught my eye was that it was an apricot juice. And you guys know I have an apricot custard that I always recommend to everybody, but not a lot of people make apricot custard. So when I saw this, I had to try it. And I'll tell you what, from the first vape, it's fantastic. It's definitely one of the best juices at the show right now. Curtis, tell us a little bit about this flavor. So honestly, this is the third flavor to come out on this juice line. Uh, the original flavor is called Cranchy. It's basically like a cranberry pomegranate mix. It has kind of some interesting aftertaste type okay. notes. Uh, different sweetener than most juices too. Um, so anyways, the cranberry flavor came out first and that actually hit the market late 2012. Right. Um, given the success of that saw, then the dragon chi flavor came out, which is a dragon fruit version of that cranberry flavor, okay. um, replacing the cranberry with dragon fruit. And then we kind of saw that there needed to be something a little bit sweeter in the lineup too. Um, you know, obviously dragon fruit and cranberry can be tart fruits. So right. we said, hey, let's look at some sweeter fruits. What hasn't been touched in the market yet? And thus looking at apricot. So the Apache was number three, right? Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. Third time's a charm, huh? <laughs> yeah, I guess so, right. <laughs> yeah. Now, what went into developing a flavor like this? How long did it take you? Uh, to be honest. Um, yeah, I want honesty. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would say... The first flavor, um, the original uh, maker of the line, uh, Patrick, he's a good friend of mine. Um, I would say he spent probably about six months just getting this one right. Okay. And then the rest, given that he had kind of, I guess I'd say the base together, he was able to come out with these uh, in a little bit faster succession. So. What's your favorite out of the three? My favorite is actually Cranchy. I used to vape that one for about three and a half years. Okay. Yeah. Right. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm going to try the other two since I was <laughs> impressed by Apache. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And honestly, it's a newer line to kind of come back into the market. Uh, it's been recently revamped into 100 mils. Great price points for consumers. Um, and yeah, we're, we're really just hoping that we can get you know as many people as we can to try it. And, you know, I guess I'd say from there. Well, there you go, folks. And that's it inside is... 
That's our full day at Mohegan Sun at NVE. I hope you enjoyed our little walkthrough and our little NVE experience type video. We're on our way back to New York now. Deuces.